Hey, what's up? So, I got a brand new iPhone 5S from Virgin Mobile. Bought it on the website. It was at a discount, so <clears throat> got it. They only took one day to deliver. I don't know how they do it, but the shipping was free and they didn't even say it was next day delivery. But uh, I was pleasantly surprised when the next day I checked the tracking number and they told me it's out for delivery. So kudos to Virgin Mobile. So I got the 16 gigabyte. Uh, they call it <coughs> Space Gray, I think, which is not. I guess because the color of the space is black so they call it space gray but it's neither space neither gray it's uh, some kind of black color uh, so uh, well uh, I think there is a reason why uh, I don't know maybe uh, Apple wanted to have a a hip uh, name for the iPhone, the black one. But uh, but here it is. It came with uh, two bubble bags full of air. So that's a sweet uh, touch because I saw one video on YouTube and the box, the iPhone box, just came loose inside this big box so I'm guessing it was rattling all the way from the Virgin Mobile headquarters to his house so thank you Virgin Mobile uh, I actually like this box I didn't like the previous boxes with the chrome lettering right here very reflected chrome they um, they looked very very uh, I didn't like them at all the black lettering looks a lot nicer black apple see it's not gray I don't know why they call it gray a space gray I don't know what's alright anyway uh, it's nicely shrink wrapped and uh, I guess there is a ritual that people follow when they are unboxing Apple products. You know, it's they are very, very uh, how do you call it? Ceremonious when they are opening an Apple box. You know, they want it to be perfect, and uh, it's like a total religious experience for. Uh, for the Apple enthusiast, which I am kind of, but I also like Windows and I like Android, so you know, I'm not a one company man. Alright, and uh, it does look beautiful, doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's quite a piece of art, quite a piece of engineering. Uh, And the bezel, the frame is, uh, it looks like steel. Let me, it looks like uh, brushed steel, but it's actually painted. It's not, it's not actually, it's uh, probably aluminum. And it has a light touch of uh, gray paint, I'm guessing. It looks pretty nice. And uh, there you have the speakers. I would have preferred Apple kept the earphone jack on the top, like they did on the 4S and all the ones before the 5. They had the earphone jack 
not in the bottom. I liked this both speakers just look at it in the bottom and uh, okay so there is a gray so that's why it's space gray in the website they don't show you the back so uh, that's why I was wondering why do they call it space gray if the phone looks black in the front but uh, I see it is it is gray it is a uh, it is not the natural aluminum, like I said, it, it is uh, it has a coat of grey paint. And uh, this might be glass right here. Might be. I'm not... Maybe if I ask an Apple store employee, they want to tell me where it is. But I'm not sure if it is glass or plastic. I was probably glass. Apple is reticent to give in to the plastic pleasures. Okay, here you go. Take off the screen protector. And there she is. The fingerprint reader right there. They got rid of this little square. Which I. It looks nice. They could at least. I would have preferred the little Apple logo there instead if they were gonna get rid of the square. I guess Johnny Ive decided not to go for the little apple right there. Lightning connect connector. The buttons are pleasantly springy. Not too hard, not too soft. Power button also. Alright, so there she is. Let me go ahead and open the rest of the package. Here are the manos. And the SIM card uh, ejector tool. I have never liked white iPhones. I don't know why. I'm not... I guess I'm not a white iPhone person. And there is a nice Apple stickers that you can put on your car back windshield if you want or on your whatever you want to put, it, put them on. Uh, if I had an Apple laptop or a MacBook, I would put one of those on top of the already Apple logo. There is a wall connector, the USB port, and these are the brand new... I'm not sure if the iPhone 5 already was sporting this kind of earphones. It's a different model of earphone than the ones they used to have before I'm guessing or maybe this is the more expensive model that they had which I never bought this is a cheaper earphone model so I'm guessing this might be the $70 model they used to have I'm not sure and uh, let's see I remember when uh, Steve Jobs first announced the first iPhone in 2007 he announced these earphones first at the keynote nobody batted an eye when he announced the I guess I, I think those were like $20 each pair back then and then when he announced the $70 earphones everybody went crazy 
I don't know why. Here is the USB, uh, I mean the lightning connector with the USB port. And here, I guess that's it. There's nothing else in there. Yeah. So, this one right here is the SIM card, the Virgin Mobile SIM card. And uh, I am guessing this is not uh, going to even go past the first screen if I don't insert the SIM card first. It is. It works with all three networks, Boost, Virgin, and Sprint. And I'm going to without any more delay. I'm going to insert the card in there. Pops right out. We well, have to admit the Apple design is pretty amazing. This is made of aluminum too, as far as I can tell. This thing feels metallic. Let's see. I already have a Virgin Mobile number, so I'm after I'm doing after I'm done with the unboxing I am going to log into the website and I'm going to register the iPhone. This do not seem to fit. Let's see. How do you Oh there you go. That's the way. Alright. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Yeah. There's the uh, Apple logo. <clears throat> the phone feels really, really nice in the hand. The metal, especially. Hello, bonjour, or bonjour. When it comes, yeah, okay. Once you get to English, where it is, right here, United States, just a Wi Fi network, ah, okay. I'm going to enter my password. Okay. Connecting. I'm 
Let's check to your phone. Naval Location Services. So that's new iPhone. I have an Apple account. I'm not sure if I should. I should probably use that one. Let's start from my account. I don't have like, my computer at hand, so I'm gonna just set up as new. Signing with your Apple ID. Alright, so let me get my Apple ID right now. Alright, so I found my Apple ID. Well, not found it, but retrieved it. I have a, I have it in my computer, of course. Uh, so I am already signed in. Okay. So terms and conditions. Agree. I'm gonna use iCloud. Find my phone. My phone. Touch ID set up now. Okay. Guess I'm going to use which one is the more natural? Okay, I'm just gonna use my thumb. Steve Gibson of uh, Security Now says that you can overtrain the uh, you can overtrain the iPhone with many many uh, with many presses, not only ten. I think. 10 is the recommended but you can overtrain it so it reads your thumb more easily in the future so it says complete uh, so later on I can go into the settings and just overtrain it so right now it just got enough prints create a passcode Alright. Use Touch ID for purchases. Yeah, why not? Set up iCloud Keychain. I don't even know what that is. iCloud Keychain keeps the passwords and credit information you save up to date on the devices you approve. Your information is encrypted and cannot be read by Apple. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I. Uh, should because managing passwords on the iPhone especially is very is not user friendly. Alright, set up. Use a passcode. I use uh, iPhone passcode as iCloud security code. Your iCloud security code can be used to set up iCloud keychain on a new device. Use passcode. Use passcode. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the same one. Phone number. Enter a phone number that can receive SMS messages. This can be your own number or the number of someone you trust. This number will be used to verify your identity when using your iCloud security code. Alright. Done. Use Siri. Why not? Yeah, Siri is one of the 
Although nobody uses Siri, as I understand. Diagnostics, why not? Take all my info, Apple. Register with Apple, okay. Take all my info, but don't let the NSA see it, alright? Alright, welcome to iPhone, get started. There you go. The Fable iPhone screen, iOS 7. One of the things uh, which Apple changed was the ability to customize the icons I'm not sure if you can do it as of right now but uh, as I understand you still can't you have to live with those icons until the phone lives no more or you sell it okay so there is the beautiful iPhone 5S. It truly is a beauty. It truly is. You don't even want to set it down wrong on a table, concerned that you might even make a scratch on this metal. But uh, I got a, actually, I got a, a nice protector, a case protector from a Target yesterday. Let me get it. This right here from uh, from the store last night, and uh, it was. On sale, it's actually for an iPhone 5, but it's it is the same size for a 5s. It will fit, it, unless in the front the there is a hole for the home button. If there is no hole, or if the home button is going to be covered. I'm not going to be able to use the fingerprint reader. Um, so hopefully the, the, uh, there is an opening for that. It, it cost me like $11 plus tax. But uh, a nice surprise was that this morning I was checking the receipt and actually they had a discount for this case and I didn't even know about it they only charged me like three dollars plus tax so I was extremely happy with the target um, I actually went for the the case that covers all around the iPhone I see uh, some people like the snap-on cases where you're basically only covering the sides of the phone You are only covering the sides, and if you drop it and it lands on the top or the bottom, your phone is gonna, on the best of cases, it's just gonna have a big ding if you drop it on pavement, and in the worst of cases, it's gonna share your screen because that screen is not indestructible. I've seen it be shared on videos. I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen I've seen the videos, and. Uh, so I ordered one on eBay also that covers all around the the bezel. If you drop it and uh, the the case is soft enough to uh, absorb the fall, it's not gonna shatter your phone. If it is, if it, I was looking on eBay last night and they had these beautiful aluminum cases, beautiful, beautiful, but they were only lined with. A very thin sheet of plastic that is gonna protect your phone from scratches if you set it inside that metal case but if you drop it from a nice enough height you bet your 
ass is gonna shatter your phone because there is no padding there is no there is nothing to between the metal and your phone the fall the the force of the fall is gonna go right through your glass and it's gonna it's gonna go right through the case and it's gonna shatter your phone is there is really no use on using those really uh, thin cases uh, metal cases especially so uh, like I was fearing this case has the home button covered see so this is actually not compatible with the fingerprint reader so I'm gonna have to um, just uh, wait for the one I ordered last night on eBay, especially for the 5S. Unless I just go without the reader for a while until I get that one. But it's really a nice case, really soft. Yeah, it, it's not bulky. I saw my friend. I uh, had one case for his iPhone 5, it was an order box, it's a big hunk of plastic all around your phone. You probably could drive a truck over that case and it wouldn't, it wouldn't make a dent on your iPhone, it's a big hunk of plastic. This is thin enough, classy and still protected. So thank you guys for uh, watching with me, thank you.